So you want to do a crazy forest scene in Blender. You load up 100 trees and suddenly your Blender freezes and crashes. This is a pretty common problem when you're working with millions of polygons in a program like Blender. In today's video, I have a fantastic solution. So let's talk about instanced geometry. We've got this tree here. And this is technically a part of a particle system. It's about 250 or so thousand vertices. And you can see that it runs pretty smoothly in the viewport. The performance isn't that bad. Now in the viewport here, in order to display this, it has to keep track of every single little point in geometry at all times so that it can display it to me. If you boost this up to 1000, you can see that suddenly my viewport becomes a lot laggier. It's having a much harder time keeping track of all of this. Because here's the problem. The way that Blender works is because it is a program made for manipulating geometry, in other words, taking your polygons, moving them around, modeling, sculpting, etc. It has to load all of those polygons all at the same time. And that can be seriously resource intensive. And in fact, it's the reason why oftentimes when you try to load in tons of objects like that, you'll either have a really slow performing viewport or your render crashes when you go to render it out. It's basically unusable. Let's pop back into the render view and you can see the viewport performance still is not very good with these 1000 trees because we still have our overlays on. And this is going to keep it very, very slow because again, with the overlays on, it still has to keep track of all of the trees for outlines and for other stuff. So if we click this button right up here, it'll turn off our overlays and you'll see that suddenly viewport performance comes back a little bit. I mean, it's still rendered view, but we can navigate around without too much issue. But here's the crazy part. If we set this display amount back up to five, you can see the performance doesn't go down to that unusable state we were at before. If we set it up to say 50, so now we've got 50,000 individual trees, we are having no issues. It's just as performant as it was if we set the display amount to one. In fact, for some reason, it's a little bit smoother. So you can see we're not having a problem, even though this is billions of polygons that we're rendering at the moment. Now, since you're watching this video, you probably like to create fantastic worlds using Blender. And that is why in this video, I show you how to create amazing planets using a brand new tool that you're not gonna wanna miss out on. 